and taking a slow walk to the octagon. Tanner, the bulldozer, Boza called for this opportunity to fight on Fight Island after his last contest. Didn't think it would happen, but it was realized. So it's a very quick turnaround, Paul, from his fight with Linz last month where he got a first round KO. And that, that mullet would be wasted on a fight that wasn't quite as mobile. Oh, that's a big shot. Oh, that, that's oh, hurt him. He's oh, that's it. Down. Oh, that's it. Coach is going to get the finish. And he's that's in. over, oh, Brad. That's that's a big shot. It's knockout number two in a few weeks for Boza. What an emphatic performance that was from Tanner Boza. Moved really well all night. Here we go again. Come swipe it across. Beautiful punch, work. Yep. Right into the eye with the knuckle. Very, very nice work. And then Pessoa just collapses against the fence. Probably couldn't even get a, a focus on his opponent. You know, that's the double vision thing. Not really sure what's yeah. going on. And then obviously Talabosa yeah. rained down on him with strikes. Xiaonan hasn't tasted defeats in eight years. You know, a 10 fight unbeaten streak, getting better all the time. And what we know about Yan Xiaonan is that we've not seen the full extent of her game yet. We don't really know what she's capable of. What we know is that she's got really serious striking power for this weight class. She knows that Yan Xiaonan's a, a snappy striker. Oh, that was a good right hand from Carolina. Under pressure, though. The thing she has to watch out for is that front kick, side kick to the midsection, which can really keep her on the outside for a lot of this fight. Quick toss down to the mat. Nice strong wizard there by Xiaonan. Trying to get around the legs and punch and kick, KK. So it might not necessarily be a, a pain thing, it yeah, might not, just be a vision thing. I, I don't think it's a pain thing at all because she's, I mean, she's still stepping into the breach and taking risk, but it's, it's when she, she's covering her eye to strike. That body shot definitely hurt her as well. Now, now her arms are dropped to defend her body. That body shot would hurt Alistair Overall. And wasn't it an ankle injury that she came back? Well, she may have just done it again, but not stopped her moving forward. Oh, Look at this. Takedown. takedown almost clear to mount as well, aside from one knee. All three judges score this contest 30 26 for the winner by unanimous decision, Yon Shana! Started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at five years old. His father was his coach then. His father is still his coach now, Laerte Barcelos. Hey. Oh, combinations right away. Oliver looked to connect. Is that right hand? He's so good. Beautiful uppercut. Work on bring that lead hand back to the chin. Double change and the takedown for Barcelos. 90 seconds to go. Created work from Barcelos back on the ground. Haven't seen a lot of body attacks. Oh, man, great left hook. Oh, oh, big right. Couple of Welcome to the Octagon. Just when we're talking about how they could both take a shot, it took a sequence of power punches to get Kurt Holaba out of this fight. Look at this sequence of shots. Left hand, that's what started it. Right hand, right hand, right hand. That is video game stuff. Four power punches in a row. That's what it took to win this fight. That's what he threw, all of them, right on the money. And fitting that the last one, bow. The uppercut that's been working all night. One more look at the trifecta of right hands. No setups, no let up. That's how you get a guy out of there.